What's up guys? This is Derek House from PHFDNS.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make my strawberry protein cheesecake. It's pretty cheap, will kill that sweet tooth, and you don't need that many ingredients to make it. So let's jump right into it. The first thing you're gonna do is take out a large bowl that we're just gonna add all of our ingredients into, starting with two large eggs, and then one teaspoon of lemon juice, a fourth a cup of sweetener, two scoops or 60 grams of a vanilla protein powder, you could also use strawberry or any other flavor that complements the recipe. Two containers, which is 10.6 ounces or 300 grams of a fat-free strawberry Greek yogurt. As you guys can see, I'm using a strawberry cheesecake flavor and I always like to mention to look for the lowest sugar Greek yogurt you can find. These light and fit ones only have seven grams in the whole container. 12 ounces or 339 grams of fat-free cream cheese. Using reduced or full fat cream cheese works great too. Just remember to factor in the extra calories and fat. Two tablespoons or 34 grams of a low sugar strawberry jelly. You could also use sugar-free if you want to cut down on the sugar in this recipe even more. And last, take out and chop up half a cup of strawberries. Add your chopped strawberries in. Go ahead and mix everything together. Using a hand mixer is optional. Preheat your oven on 325 and then take out a six by nine inch cake pan. If you don't have one of these, they're definitely my favorite pan to cook my cheesecakes in and they're less than $10 shipped. I do post a link to them in the description below. Line your cake pan with some parchment paper and then pour your mix in. Now into the oven on 325 for 30 to 35 minutes. As far as the calories go in the whole cheesecake, there's 848, 12 grams of fat, 64 grams of carbs, and 121 grams of protein. After 30 to 35 minutes, turn your oven down to 200 and then bake for an additional 50 minutes to one hour. After around an hour for me, it does look done, so I'm just gonna take it out. Once your cheesecake cools for a bit, wrap it up and then put it into the fridge for a few hours preferably overnight. So if you cut four pieces like I did, in each piece there's gonna be around 212 calories, three grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein. After it cools, unwrap it, and then this is optional, but you could top it with some Greek yogurt and strawberry slices. And there is your strawberry protein cheesecake. As you guys saw, the cheesecake is done, so now I'm just gonna try a bite. So the two most important things here are one, it has the texture of cheesecake, which it does, and two, the strawberry flavor isn't too overpowering, which it isn't. It's absolutely delicious, and if you like cheesecake or strawberries, you're gonna love this. Question of the day, what is your favorite dish from a restaurant? Let me know in the comments below. Mine is Seafood Alfredo. All right guys, I just wanna thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can do so by clicking somewhere down there on the screen coming up. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got a cheesecake to finish. Stay healthy.